What is up people from YouTube, my name is Benny206, I'm the first of the two with no talent and I thought I'd show you how I create attacks when um, when animating in After Effects. So I have here a composition that is just 10 seconds long just for the sake of this tutorial and I have an attack sprite and also a, uh, a sprite that is going to do the, the actual attack. So I'm going to show you the two ways uh, that you can go about doing this. So I'm going to just... Uh, add my, my uh, sprite of the character in here uh, pixelate it and scale it up to about there, that, that looks about right. Okay, so the first way of doing this is using a attack sprite like this one. Drag it into your composition press S on your keyboard and scale it up to where it looks good. I'm just gonna leave it about there. Uh, don't pixelate this, it should be blurry. Um, having your layer selected, go to effect Key, color key, press this eyedropper tool and uh, key out the background. We only want this. Now we're going to add some effects with your background selected. Go to Effect, Stylize, Glow. Now there's not, uh, not much you have to change here, but you can if you want to mess with the intensity, uh, radius or threshold. That is all up to you. I'm just going to leave it like it is for now. The other effect that we have to do is go to Effect, uh, blur and sharpen and CC radial blur. Now move this uh, centerpiece thingy right here to where your attack starts. Then in the effects pane go to type and change it from scratch to straight zoom and then pump up the amount by however, however much you want it. Okay that's good. Um, next you can animate the effect by going to your effects and presence panel and type in wiggle and then click the one uh, click and drag the one that says wiggle scale onto the attack layer now take the uh, the pan behind tool and move the anchor point to the left here where your attack is starting uh, press the selection tool again and then under wiggle scale you can uh, you can pump up the amount uh, that it has to grow in size and uh, also the amount. So I'm going to um, amount of wiggles per second. So I'm going to leave the amount uh, that it grows at 10% but I'm going to change the wiggles per second by uh, just by 4. And when we ram preview this we can see that it is animated now. This is how the final product will look. It's not perfect but uh, this just depends on uh, the wiggle per second and amount. You can mess around with that um, as much as you want to get the effect that you are looking for. Next way of doing this is uh, by making a so uh, solid. So we're going to go to layer, new, solid, uh, make sure it is white and it has to be bigger than your um, bigger than your your composition. Press OK and you'll have this, this white layer. Uh, Next, go to the ellipse tool. If it's not up here, you might have a square or a star or something. Uh, click and hold in, and then just select the ellipse tool. Next, go onto your solid and draw a circle as big as you want. Next, click this pen tool, and then uh, close to this point that is at the right side, make another one by just clicking there, and then uh, a bit above. And below those two twins points um, make two other. Now press the selection tool and we're gonna take those two that are close together and we're gonna drag them. Drag them away like this. Uh, as far as as far as you can to get this uh, the shape. Next we're gonna move this closer to the closer to the character's hand. Uh, click the pen behind tool up here and move it to his hands to where the where the attack starts. Now we're going to add all the same effects and a little more. Uh, click on your white solid layer down here. Click on masks and then under mask 1 we're going to change the feather. We're going to increase it just a little bit like this. It should not have that, that straight line. Okay, but now we need to add some color. So we're going to, with the selected, we're going to click on Effect, Stylize, and Glow. 
Um, you can mess around with the threshold radius and intensity, like I said earlier. But to add a bit of color, um, next to glow colors, it says original colors. Change this to A and B colors. And now the color that you want the attack to be, um, that color is going to replace this black. So color A should uh, stay on white, but color B, uh, which is black, should be whichever color you want it to be. So I'm going to I'm going to make it yellow, like so. Okay, and now I'm going to increase the radius and the intensity. like this so we can see uh, the bright yellow color um, next effect uh, with your solid selected go to effects uh, blur and sharpen CC radial blur again move this uh, center point right here to where the attack begins next to his hand change the type from scratch to straight zoom and pump up the amount but not not too much I want it I want it there. And then you can uh, go to your effects and presence and drag the wiggle scale onto your solid. And because the uh, the anchor point is already moved uh, next to here, we don't have to do that again. And then again, you just mess with the amount and the, um, and the wiggles per second. And then you get uh, this type of effect. The final product will look like this. It is uh, animated now. You can uh, you can mess around with the wiggles and the amount and and the speed, etc. So uh, that is it. That is how I create uh, beams or attacks when animating um, when animating in After Effects. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, uh, feel free to leave a like, a comment, or even subscribe for more tutorials, sprite animations, and other awesome videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.